G'day boys, just thought I'd do a quick video today on the anniversary event that we've got going on. Down the bottom here, a choose your own Nat 4 event going through and explaining for some new players what the best Nat 4s are that you want to be looking out for and trying to add to your monster box here. Alright, we'll get started with the fire ones first. I'll go through and I'll probably name three for each of the elements here that you want to be trying to kind of look out for. Now, some of these, I'll let you know which ones are going to be better than other ones, but if you already have some of those, I just want to give you some extra options here, just in case you already have the best sort of one or two that I think you should be getting, so you can just buff out your monster box out a little bit more. We'll start with the Fire Ninja first, with the Garrow here. He is great because of his 30% fire attack lead, which when you pair him obviously with some fire units, uh, it can just help you early on give you some a 30% extra speed, which early on, a lot of the time, you're going to be troubled with trying to contest for speed in certain areas of PvP. So he is great for a Siege or Guild War offense if you pair him with a Verd and a Rout. That's still a very common uh, G3 Siege offense, even still used today. Uh, as well as the other purpose that he have with his passive here, basically he can't be hit, uh, he can't be killed, sorry, with just a single hit. So because of that, he's very strong for the Acroma stage in Toa that a lot of new players get stuck on. So he just lets you basically cheese that stage. He has very, very low room requirements to be able to actually get through that. So just for that purpose alone, he's incredibly powerful early game to help you complete Toa as well as has the application in Guild War, Sieges, and Arena Offense as well. The next unit we're going to talk about here is the Fire Chakram Dancer, uh, Shayna, when she's awakened. She has a 33% dungeon leader skill, um, as well as has an AoE defense break and small chance to stun, um, with, with a passive also increasing uh, her accuracy, so her rune requirements are a little bit lower as well. As well as then she'll team up with any of the other um, Boomerang Warrior twins. If So you do kind of need to have two of them. But basically she'll do big damage as well. Also has a defense break on skill 1. So she's a very reliable uh, defense breaker. And just a great unit to have. You can Again, you can use her in uh, some arena offense. You can use her in Siege. You can use her in Toa. I still actually use her and the Fire Twin in combination for my Toa Hard Auto team. So she's a great unit to pick up early on as well. And the last one of the fire units here will be uh, the Onomusha, the Fire Onomusha Kaki. So he awakens into speed, again, making him quite easy to rune. Uh, he has a defense break on skill one that is a self-healing skill as well. If he kills a unit with his AoE skill two, he'll get Endure, which means he basically can't die while he still has that buff on him. And then his passive here increases his defense by 20% of his attack power. So basically you load as much attack power as you can on him. And then he gains defense based on that as well, which also then increases his damage even more. Uh, he, doesn't have, he doesn't land crits, so you don't need to ruin him on any crit rate or any crit damage. You just stack the uh, attack power, a little bit of HP, and then he's a big bruiser unit that can self-sustain himself. And he basically can be used in any of the taller stages. He's great for an arena offense. Uh, he's great in Guild War. He's great in Siege for offenses as well. Even on some defenses in the Siege and Guild War, he's pretty good for those as well. Um, and he can carry you through Toa pretty easily. Uh, as, so he's just a, he's just a basically a great all-round unit. And you can actually use him as a farmer too. So he's, he's incredibly strong and one of the best uh, early game pickups if you can, if you can get him. Um, he does work better with skill ups obviously he isn't fusible for skill ups but um, he can use without without even being fully skilled early on and you'll just collect some as you go so he, he's a, definitely one of the one of the better ones to pick up if you haven't gotten him already and probably my number one of all the fire picks okay so of the water ones here we'll probably start with the uh, galleon here he is the the water pirate captain he has the 24% guild speed lead, so he's fantastic in your guild war offense and in your siege offense. He pairs incredibly well with Kaki, who we just saw before. He offers a uh, AOE two-turn defense break while giving you an attack buff. So basically, you would run him, any stripper, and then Kaki to follow. So you get the strip into the defense break with the attack buff, and then Kaki can basically finish things off. He's also incredibly strong for your arena offense, and I still use him in my G3 arena offense today. So he's an incredibly strong unit to have and pick up as well. Um, he offers also the defense break on skill one and a bit of a absorb on skill two here, but basically you use him primarily for his skill three and the 24% skill uh, speed lead 
in, in guild content only. So he, he's a great pick and probably the best of all the water picks, I would say. The other two here that I think we'll talk about will probably be the other two twins. So this is the water chakram dancer. We saw the fire one before. Uh, she offers just basically some big damage on and all, on all of her skills with the uh, self cleanse and the self attack buff onto the skill two here. Um, and then just big, big damage on her skill three. She does have a uh, crit rate lead in the dungeons here, but you don't typically use that very often. Um, and but, but basically she just does big damage and it's pretty good to have um, paired, especially you need to have another twin with her. So if you don't have another twin yet, then I probably wouldn't recommend just taking her. Um, the other one I want to talk about is the Sabrina, so which is the Boomerang Warrior. So the Chakram Dancers and the Boomerang Warriors in conjunction together will both team up together every time one of them attacks, which basically means they, they self-cycle uh, their cooldowns, as well as just do increased damage overall. So she offers a defense break on turn one, uh, a defense break on, on skill two, sorry, and with the attack power down, um, and, and she also has a heal block as well. And then on uh, her skill three is as a passive, she receives less damage uh, when enemies granted with beneficial effects and inflicts 20% more damage on enemies with no beneficial effects. Uh, so basically she just does really, really good damage and she pairs incredibly well with Shayna, the fire chakram dancer. So if you already have Shayna, then I definitely recommend you look at picking up the Sabrina here as well. If you don't have the Shayna though, then I probably wouldn't recommend her. I would just wait until you can get another one and look for one of the other units here that you don't have instead. If you have all the other units that I'm gonna to mention today, well then yeah, grab her. You may as well uh, get her now. All right, the first one for the wind units that we're gonna talk about here is probably the Harp Magician, the Triana. She is uh, incredibly good in Siege, both on defense and on offense. She offers a passive that stops your unit from being killed. Uh, as well as then instantly gives her another turn with her skill two being a decent heal and a cleanse on one unit and putting up immunity on all of your units. Uh, her skill one is just a little bit of CC with a bit of pushback and uh, potential to sleep, but it does scale on speed. So you can actually build her with a bit of damage, uh, but that's more of like sort of a late game build. Typically early on, you just want to build her on really tanky uh, speed, HP, HP, or, or even HP, 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 really tanky stats. She does offer now the 33% guild lead as well. So she's a great unit to have to use uh, in, in both your guild war uh, offense, defense, and in your siege offense and defense. Uh, she's also very viable on the arena defense as well. I still have a Triana on my arena defense now. Uh, she's an incredibly strong unit for that there as well, uh, as well as you can use her in some of the lab stages. She also is uh, has a the water one of her, this one here, the Sonnet. You can actually fuse these ones, so she is skill upable uh, through fusions as well, which really helps out early game. And she also has pretty good base stats, awakens into speed. So she's just a really, really strong unit overall. Many, many players have multiple Trianas built on their account, so she's a great one to pick up early on. The other one we're going to talk about here is the uh, Wind Barbaric King, the uh, Hrazevelg. He offers the 33% uh, guild attack lead, uh, he's great again in some guild content obviously because of that as a, as a damage dealer slash support unit he offers the attack buff and attack speed buff on his skill 3 for 2 turns across your whole team he has a branding on skill 2 uh, and then just does some damage with a dot on skill 1 so he's great for uh, eventually getting into your solo R5 he's not too bad as well with the branding He's also really, really strong for some beginner uh, uh, GB12 teams. If you're not going to run the DOTS team, you can run uh, Hrazevelg in place of, say, a Fran to give you the extra damage and still maintaining that attack buff. Uh, but other than that, he's just a pretty solid unit across uh, across the board, usable in Guild. You could use him in some Arena and if you wanted to as well. Uh, so not, not a bad pickup, and I would recommend if, if you don't have, if you have all the other ones, um, then probably look at just picking him up as well. And lastly, for the wind ones here, we'll have a look at the, uh, this This is probably, I think, the number one that you're looking for. If you do not have a Lucian, I strongly, strongly recommend you pick him up. He not only offers a 33% attack uh, uh, dungeon leader skill here as well, but his third skill is a multi-hit, uh, ignore defense, AOE skill. And so basically he just does an incredible amount of damage with very little setup required. He only really needs an attack buff. He doesn't need a defense break or anything like that because he does ignore defense. So typically uh, he's great to use in Siege for offense, uh, Guild War for offense, and he could be your, probably your first arena offense as well. 
Uh, most people have got multiple Lucians on their account built, so it's it's not even a bad thing to get a dupe of him. Uh, and his skill ups are with this Cian here as well, the water one of him, are also fusible, so he is very easy to skill up early on when you can just fuse the skill ups for him. So he would be probably the number one that I would recommend getting. Uh, he's also part of the some of the faster dungeon teams. The DOTS team for GB12, which is probably the first sort of uh, standard team that you're going to be building for your Giants team. He is the leader skill for that one. When you want to speed that team up to try and get it to the minute, sub one minute mark, you use the Lucian to do that. He uses his skill three on wave one to clear the wave, and then you beat the mid boss, and then he'll have his amputation magic ready again for wave three. So you can basically, he just one shots the whole wave, which is the best way to speed up your times. Uh, and, and basically that way you can get some more farming in. So the sooner you can get the faster dungeon times, the more you can farm, the faster then you'll progress through the game. So Lucian definitely, I think, is the, probably the number one out of all the units here that I've shown to pick up first if you don't have him, with Kaki being number two. And then the third one, uh, I would probably recommend the Galleon picking up third. So that's it, guys. That's my, that's my picks for what I think you guys should be looking for from the Nat 4 event. Do me a favor, guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.